here's the setup. Another uh, quick video, just me experimenting. Um, <clears throat> the last time I put some angles on some material to make a point, you know, something like that, I actually had this carriage and everything at a really crazy angle like this, and I was trying to feed it in and out like this, <clears throat> and having this <clears throat> in the forward position. So I'm just toying around, playing around, and I want to do a similar operation like this with this piece of material here. But instead, it was suggested by a handful of folks to run this thing in reverse and feed it at a more comfortable angle back and forth. So that's what this video is. Um, me just learning, turning, and experimenting with different ways to use uh, the lathe and operations and kind of tricks of the trade. And <clears throat> this is the benefit of this channel is you get so much good advice from people who've done this in the, in the industry. And, you know, if you just open your mind and listen to them, they're, they make your life easier. This is certainly more comfortable to feed this in and out than it is working back here with the shield in the way and trying to bring it in this way. So let's see how I do. Um, the idea is to just bring this to a point. Um, it'll be a pretty steep angle. I'm not sure what I'm going for yet, but um, I'll probably have to make some adjustments with this. But again, it's a scrap piece of stock. I'm just, just playing around. Let's see what happens. Let me mount you up here. There we are. Hopefully you can see that well enough. Um, looks like you can for the most part. Um, it's gonna be tight, but anyway, trust me, I'm, I'm just bringing this back and forth and you'll get to see the operations of what I'm working on. Let me bring you back out this way a little bit. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, so I've got this locked in. I'm not gonna use the carriage the saddle at, at, to back to move this back and forth. I'm actually going to just use the top slide to cut my angle, and I'm going to feed it in and out with the cross slide, and gradually bring that into a, a point. So, <coughs> excuse me. Let's get this started, and let's see what we got. So I've got it set for reverse. I'm going to run at a little bit higher RPM. It's also been told that uh, higher RPMs for carbide tips are better. I'm not using high speed steel this time, um, just because I wanted to quickly get this set up. So I'm using one of my carbide inserts. So here we go. progress not sure how much you can see let's get this out of the way so that's that's actually working out very well the finish is nice um, wow that's so much more comfortable making an angle on a part than what I was doing in the past um, such good tips from everybody on that Didn't make a mess here clean some of that up um, yeah, I like how that's working out. Um, I don't know what I'm going for. I'm just, uh, I'll keep going until I'm too tight here and then, and, uh, we'll stop this video at, at that point. But, uh, let's keep going a little bit further and, uh, see how this looks. It's working well. I like it.
go. Let's get this packed off. up a little bit. Anyway, it's kind of interesting. Get that taken out of there. Get this out of the way. What did we make? Just toying around. Just a, a little bit of a, a point there, but anyway, proof of concept. That's I like. Definitely learn how to learn the tricks of the trade on how to run the lathe and and perform some of the the things in a smarter manner. This right here is a way better way to do that than the way I did it in the past, so. All right, thanks for watching. Just a silly little video, just out here learning. Um, hope some others find some interest in that. I'll try to label this video accordingly for anyone searching how to cut angles on a lathe or something like that. I think this was a pretty cool little trick. Thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next one. We'll keep going. See if we can't make an actual point on this, whatever it is. I want to extend it out a little bit. <clears throat> Loosen this up. hopefully help keep it from running into
All right. There we go. Let's get this out of the way. Clean up some of this mess. See what we did. That held up really well. Um, I'm glad I tried that. I'm glad somebody suggested that. And uh, this was a good exercise uh, to run this in reverse and see what you can do with making angles and that sort of thing. Um, the finish is turning out just for this little crappy lathe. I'm really happy with the finishes I'm getting on some of this material. This was, again, uh, if you watched a previous video, there's a, a little bend in that big long rod with the threaded portion that I had. This is one of those three pieces that I had. There's the other two. Um, but the other, this was just one of those three pieces and I wanted to see what I could do with it. But uh, I really, really like that. I made a cone, I suppose you could call it, but the purpose of this video was to test out running this thing in reverse um, and being able to have better control over cutting angles and, and that sort of thing without, without uh, getting in weird angles with the compound and everything. This worked fantastic. I'm quite happy with this. I'm bringing this up here so you can get a little closer look. Turned out pretty good. I mean, what is it? It's just a cone. But uh, anyway, um, pretty happy with that. Let's test out a little bit of something here. What, what is the likelihood that this will spin? No. <laughs> I can, there we go. Yeah, it's... It's probably lopsided on the top, but anyway, um, there we go. It's pretty interesting. Um, pretty neat little piece. But anyway, testing out this thing running in reverse and just feeding my top slide in to make that re angle and using the compound, the top slide or the... Uh, I guess this would be the top slide and just feeding this in and out so that I could uh, get that angle in there and I was able to achieve, you know, a conical shape, you know, who knows in the future what, you know, that's probably a, a skill I'm going to need to know and learn. And uh, yeah, I, I really like how that turned out. I'm going to close the video here. Thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next one.